Are you an AI agency owner struggling to land your first big client? Imagine closing a $3,000 per month deal without hassle and having all the tools to replicate the success. In this video, I'm sharing exactly how I built and sold a $3,000 per month AI chapel service. And as a bonus, I will give the exact argument template I used and a Notion Kanban board template to manage your projects efficiently. So first, let me break down how I found this client. And I need to say this, content is king. Why? Because it's the first step in building trust and attracting clients. I started with a YouTube video that delivered real value, teaching people how to white label bot press. And that single piece of content funneled this lead directly into my LinkedIn inbox. I could start um, meaningful conversations. And I was pretty surprised that I didn't have to be salesy at all to close the deal. They already knew me and trust me through my content. And since I was a founder of a white label platform they were looking for, it was even easier to close the deal. So guys, I highly recommend starting a YouTube channel as an agency owner, because in my opinion, like it's the highest leverage opportunity for your agency and your brand as well. And our offer is simple, $3,000 monthly retainer for complex chatbot projects. And why this model? This chatbot has a lot of moving parts and undefined scope in the beginning. So instead of trying to price every detail upfront, our retainer model allows us to stay flexible and focus on delivering results. And here's what the client gets. A Notion Kanban board where they can track every task, update and priority in real time. And secondly, weekly 30 minute meetings to review progress, make adjustments and provide AI consultation in general. So before diving into service delivery, let me explain the relationship between my client and my client's client. So my client is a B2B SaaS company that provides software solutions to other businesses. As a chatbot agency, I was hired to build a proof of concept chatbot for one of their clients. So let's call them client A. So I'm building a chatbot for client A. Here's how the relationship works. I partnered directly with the SaaS company to integrate my chatbot service into their product. And they in turn offer this chatbot as a value added features to their clients, like client A, client B, and client C. So right now I'm focused on creating a proof of concept chatbot specifically tailored for client A's needs. If successful, this sets the stage for scaling the chapel solution across all of their clients. So from now on, I'll be referencing my client as a SaaS company and their client as a client for the rest of the video. So why does this SaaS company need a white label chapel solution? Let me break it down for you. First off, branding consistency. Their clients want a seamless experience. With a white label chatbot, the bot feels like it's a natural part of their SaaS platform not just some random third party tool slapped on top. It's all about making look and feel like it belongs to their product. Second is a game changer for their business. By offering a branded chatbot as a part of their product, they can stand out from the competition, bring more value to their customers and open up a brand new revenue stream. Originally, my client was considering bot press to build their chatbot agents, but after reviewing their needs, I recommended a better stack, voice flow for building agents and chat dash for white labeling. Why? VoiceFlow makes it super intuitive to design and deploy powerful conversation agents. And Chatdash is just perfect for white labeling AI agents. And white labeling is really important because, you know, it's the key to scaling their business and staying ahead in the market. So in terms of service delivery, the main focus of our development effort has been on preparing correct data. And it accounts for like 70% of my work. And we've used tools like VoiceFlow to build out the chapel flow. And in addition, like we are offering weekly consulting via MS Teams. And for reg data preparation, there are two types of data that I need, needed to unload. So first one is gonna be client data from their server. So basically I got the JSON file and I just basically chunked it up, chunked it down to text files to fit the maximum file limit. And also there was 11,000 web pages that I need to scrape and make it as a knowledge base. So I used Firecrawl and Python script to achieve that. And after preparing data, so I went into voice flow and built out the entire chat flow, including base rec flow, pricing inquiries and refunds, complaints inquiries. So basically uh, it takes like a couple hours to build the entire flow in voice flow because it's, it's a no code tool and it's like very intuitive to build, build out the chat flow. So yeah, that's for chat flow build. And once I'm done with the chat, chat flow, I went into chat dash to white label everything for the SaaS company. I went to their agency dashboard and basically created a client account and added voice flow agent and 
do some customization specifically for their client's need. So this is exactly how I customize child widget for their clients. And as you can see, you can change color theme, logo, and, and the full text uh, of the widget. And after wrapping up the widget customization, I went into the client dashboard to check if everything is working fine. So the client dashboard is where the SaaS company's client can log in and see all the information of the chatbot. So the client dashboard is where the SaaS company's client can log in and see all the information of the chatbot from analytics, conversations, and knowledge base. In here, everything is well labeled from custom domain, logo, and even color scheme. So SaaS company's client will never know it's from voice flow or something else. Yeah, so and this is my entire process from how I got this client and how I delivered results for them. Uh, the SaaS company is going to have a POC demo very soon. And if things go well, I'll be keep working with this SaaS company to build the rest of their clients' chatbots. So the end goal for this project is eventually educate their entire team to duplicate the voice agents that I developed for them. So the end goal for this project is eventually educate their team to duplicate the voice flow agents for all their clients. Let's wrap up with two key takeaways. First offer. For simple projects, a project-based model works well. So basically, um, you're charging your client, set a fee, and monthly retainer afterwards. But on the other hand, for complex ones, a monthly retainer is the way to go. It provides flexibility for evolving needs and ensures predictable revenue for your agency. Plus, I've included resources like argument templates and a Notion Kanban board to help you get your retainer offer up and running quickly. And secondly, white labeling is a must. So white labeling lets you maintain consistent branding without exposing the tools you use, positioning your agency as an expert. This not only protects your value, but also allows you to charge higher ticket prices for the same service. So by combining retainers with white label solutions, you can elevate your agency's offering, boost profitability, and build a stronger relationship with your clients. Thanks so much for watching and I hope this helps you take your AI agency to the next level and see you in the next video.